We rejoice at the entering into the 49th year of CFC and we are thankful for what God has done all these years in blessing many families and raising many churches in India and outside. It is extremely rare to see two elders working together for nearly 50 years. I want to see if anyone has stuck so long. Brother Zayek and Brother Ian are of two different temperaments like Paul and Barnabas and they are from two different cultures too and the church needs both or else it will be lopsided. The Bible says, Behold the kindness and the severity of God. The kindness of God is meant to lead us to repentance. God cuts and binds up. That is the ministry in the church, not just to give a pep talk and send people away, making them happy. The true church of God is meant to make disciples and not just converts, making them adequate for every good word and work by correction, rebuke, discipline, comfort and encouragement. A true servant of God tells you what you need to hear and not what you want to hear. The truth hurts but heals. It says in Psalm 133, Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brothers to, to dwell together in unity. Verse 2, It is like the precious oil upon the head, coming down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, coming down upon the edge of his robes. It's like the dew of Hermon coming down upon the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord commanded the blessings for ever. It is there where there is unity. It says it is there the Lord commanded the blessings forever. Because these two brothers stood together in unbroken unity, the devil could not drive a wedge between them and the church has been preserved all these years. It is good example for us to follow. Thank you very much Brother Zach and Brother Ian for your selfless dedication and sacrifices all along from the beginning till date despite many hurdles and obstructions and oppositions and it will be only appropriate for us to be thankful to the unstinted cooperation and support of the third elder, Brother Newton, who has also served the church for about 40 years along with them. He stepped back later due to health issues. We express our sincere thanks to you, Brother Newton.
As soon as the day of Pentecost is done, you immediately see two completely opposite people, Peter and John, going together in Acts chapter 3. It's always two, never one. Completely different from the old covenant. And then when the Holy Spirit begins a movement out to other places, he says, separate me Saul and Barnabas, two, not one. And that is how CFC also began. That God brought Ian Robson and myself together. And if it were not two of us, I would say boldly, there would be no CFC Bangalore. Or it would not have been a New Covenant church. It would have just been another one of these churches run by pastors and Old Covenant with one leader. Most churches in the world have got a single leader. Even in so-called New Testament groups, you go there and see it's one leader. They'll call him elder or pastor or leading brother or some title, but it's always one man. And there's no question of argument, you just get along like that, but it never builds the body. And uh, I'm very thankful personally that when God decided to start a new covenant church here, he brought two people together. It was God, not man. In our hearts, we have a vision. We have made our decision to show the Father's love with great power from above. We are united in Jesus Christ. We are the soldiers of the light. We don't wrestle flesh and blood, but principalities of the dark. We do a marching to one beat, rushing the enemy under our feet. We are mighty in our stand, with God's word in our hand. I know the Lord us together. I told you a couple of Sundays ago, the Lord pointed out to me, you want somebody to submit to? Here is a man that you can submit to. Because I was fed up of what I seen. I said, Lord, did I leave my job on the railways to see all this, this rat race? People climbing over each other's back, trying to make foreign contacts, seeking for a ministry here, seeking there. I said, Lord, I didn't leave my job for that. I I came to serve you. And I never forget the day when it was like somebody saying in my ear, here is a man, when we were in the Baptist church, you can submit to. I thank God with all my heart for Brother Zach that I found in him a brother and a friend. And I said to him, after Vicky went to glory, I said, you're my best friend. No. Vicky was my best friend when she was with me and the Lord gave her to me for 50 years. I said, Zach, you're my best friend. And a lot of things, sometimes I had to be corrected, sometimes rebuked. Now, one thing I learned, that I would never get offended. I never got offended, and so God joined us, fused us together that we became one. And because of that spirit, God added to the church those also who wanted, want to become one. So I want to ask you, but I didn't get attached to him. I didn't get joined to him. I testify before the Lord that he connected me to Jesus. He connected me to the head, not to himself. In all the years, our families were very close with each other. Our children grew up and played with one another. They, they fought in all kinds, you know how it is, with uh, friends. And they may make up again. But we never got, I didn't get attached to him. I didn't want him to be like me. And he didn't want, he didn't put any pressure on me to be like him. 
That's how we worked. We had disagreements just like in a family. But there was no strife. We disagreed sharply on some things, but we never fell out of fellowship. Let us reach this generation. Every tribe and every nation For we've overcome the world By the blood of Christ the Lamb We are united in Jesus Christ We are the soldiers of the light We don't rest on flesh and blood But principalities of the dark We too are marching to one week Pushing the Brother Ian Robson, who's been a co-worker with me for 37 years. The work in Bangalore started with both of us. I want to say something. Uh, he's a very unassuming brother, and he and I, but that doesn't mean he doesn't have strong convictions. We, have, we are completely different in personality, and uh, we have disagreed at different times, but we have never been disunited even once in 37 years, not for a single day. And that has been the strength of this church. Wherever the elders get divided, you can say the devil has destroyed the church. You may think nothing has happened. When elders are divided, the devil has destroyed that church. You can still function as a church like Saul sitting on the throne. But the devil's not succeeded in Bangalore because... Uh, God, God has preserved us in unity. It doesn't mean we have agreed. Uh, one of the things Ian and I can demonstrate, <clears throat> just like my wife and I can demonstrate at home, is disagreement does not mean <clears throat> disunity. In fact, agreement can sometimes mean that one strong elder just tells the other fellow, you better listen to me. <clears throat> that type of unity is useless, good for nothing. That's like a one-man show, like a pope. And I tell you, the Protestant popes are more dangerous than the Roman Catholic one. So we don't want any Protestant popes. We have equal elders who want to be united. So I, I greatly respect and value Brother Ian for his prophetic gift. If we are connected to the head, we come under authority. We come under authority. I don't want to force myself. Authority in the church is never forced from the top. It's accepted from below. And I can say that, like I said to you a little while ago in the beginning, when the Lord pointed out to me, here is a man you can submit to, I didn't become servile or slavish. We were brothers and we were always brothers. But I had somebody whom I could submit to and I thank God. And there were other brothers. And the elders that we have. I don't think that I'm senior by so many, so many years. I thank, I submit to them, be subject to one another. And I hope they have the freedom to tell me if I'm wrong or do something wrong. And if I'm boring, that they have the freedom to tell me you're boring. That's what it is. I'm not senior elder. I'm not a f some founder and all these titles that we can give. We are brothers. We are baptized into one body. And uh, so I chose to be under authority. And I hope you have chosen that because you cannot grow if you don't, 
if you are not under authority. Ephesians 5.21 is what I was, of what I was uh, quoting just now. Be subject to one another. Lord.